Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the class of 12th English medium. The subject is statistics, part 1, chapter 1, index numbers, brought to you by Vitan Sir. In the previous tutorial, we talked about um, what is index number and uh, what are price relatives and percentage price relatives that's index number and also the method of calculating index number taking a base here as either a fixed base or a chain based here and the general index number and we talked about many concepts so in this tutorial i'm going to solve some of the sums based on those concepts from exercise 1.1 there are only four questions in this exercise but it covers all the concepts which we have done in the previous tutorial so it will be easy for you guys to understand it let's start with the first question question number one the data about average daily wage of a group of workers employed in a factory is given we have to find index number by first the fbi method taking 2008 as the base year two cbi method 3. FBI method taking average of 2011 to 2013. Let's one by one solve these sums and understand. But before that, let me write down the values given in the question. The years are 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 15. The values that is the average daily wage in rupees are also given. These are the values. Now we start with the fixed base index number. Now the for the fixed base index number, we have to take the year 2008 as the base year. And that, that means when we are calculating index number, we keep on changing our years, but each time we will compare it with the value of 2008. Now, how do we calculate index number? It is the current year value divided by previous year value or the base year value multiplied by 100. Let's see, for the year 2008, my current year value will be 275 and the base year is 2008, so my base year value will also be 275 multiplied by 100. So 275 upon 275 into 100 and the index number for the base year will be 100. Now this is something which I have told you guys earlier that the base year index number will always be 100. Let's see, for the year 2009, the current year value is 284 and the base year value is 275. So it will be 284 divided by 275 into 100 and your answer here will be 103.27. Next, for the year 2010, your current year value will be 289 and your base year value will be 275 because it's the fixed base. So 289 upon 275 into 100 and you get your answer. Similarly, for the year 2011, 293 divided by 275 into 100. Then for the 2012, 297 upon 275 into 100. For 2013, 313 divided by 275 into 100. And then 328 divided by 275 into 100 and 345 divided by 275 into 100 so similarly you get index numbers for all the years up to 2015 taking the base year as 2008 this shows a change in the value of average daily wages the percentage change in the value of average daily wages uh, taking the 2008 is the base year. So this is the fixed base index number method. The second method here is the chain base index number method. In the chain base index number method, the first year of the data is directly taken as 100. No questions asked, no calculations made. Directly, the first year value is taken as 100 in CBI. Next. For the year 2009, because this is a chain based index, the current year if 2009, the base year will be 2008. So the second value will be 284 divided by 275 into 100 and you get your answer 103.27. Now these two values for both FBI and CBI are similar. But starting from the next calculation, it will change. 
because for the year 2010, the current year 2010, the base year will be the preceding year that is 2009. So 289 upon 284 into 100 and the answer 101.76. So now this is from where the answers change between FBI and CBI. So for the year 2011, the base will be 2010. So 293 divided by 289 into 100, that is 101.3938. Similarly, for the 2012, the current value is 297 and the base value the preceding year is 293. So 297 upon 293 into 100 is 101.37. Similarly, 313 upon 297 into 100, 105.39. Then 328 upon 313 into 100, 104.79. Similarly, 345 upon 328 into 100, that is 105.18. So my dear students, this is the CBI method where for each current year, the preceding past year is taken as base year. So this is fixed base method where 2008 was the base year. This is chain base method where the each preceding year was the base year now the last method that is again the fixed base method but right now we are not taking a single year as a base year rather we are taking the values of 2011 12 and 13 that is 293 297 and 313 is the base so because we have two or more years we are going to take an average of these three values so uh, that would be 293 plus 297 plus 313 upon 3 and that will get you the answer 301 so that means each time you will divide all these values with the value 301 as the base value so no single year is the base year here but this three value this 301 is taken as the base value and it divides all these values and multiplies with the 100 to get the index number so first of all 275 Divide by 301 into 100, you get 91.36. Then 284 upon 301 into 100, and you get 94.35. Then 289 divided by 301 into 100, 96.01. 293 divided by 301 into 100, you get your answer. So similarly, 297 upon 301 into 100, 313 upon 301 into 100, then 328 upon 301 into 100 and 345 divided by 301 into 100 so these are all your values so the first measure here was fixed base index with 2008 as the base year then second was chain base index with each preceding year as the base year and third was was again fixed base index number but with an average value of 11 to 13, that is three years as the base year. So this is how you solve this question. Let's move on to the second one. Question number two, from the following data about retail price of sugar in a city, find index number by fixed base 2008, taking 2008 at the base year, chain base index and again fixed base index taking an average of 2009 and 2010 okay so this is the data from 2008 to 2015 and then we have the sugar prices per kilogram is 28 28.5 29.5 30 31 32 34 and 36 okay so now what we are going to do next is start with the fixed base index where we are taking the value 2008 as the base year and for the year 2008 the current year value will also be 28 so the first calculation will be 28 upon 28 into 100 that is 100 then 28.5 upon 28 into 100 that is 101.79 uh, then 29.5 upon 28 into 100 will be 105.36 and similarly 30 upon 28 into 100 31 upon 28 into 100 32 upon 28 into 100 34 upon 28 into 100 and so on till 36 upon 28 into 100 so these are the fixed base index values which you get by taking the year 2008 as the base year okay 
next i'm going to start with the chain based index and in this chain based index we know that no specific base year is to be taken the base year is taken as the preceding year now uh, right now in the chain based index the first value is always 100 next i'm going to take 28.5 upon 28 into 100 as the index number 101.79 because the current year is 2009 and the preceding year is 2008 preceding means immediately past year so uh, in the year 2010 it will be 2010 value divided by 2009 value that is 29.5 upon 28.5 into 100 103.51 similarly for 2011 it will be 30 upon 29.5 into 100 then for the 2012 it will be 31 upon 30 into 100 that is 103.33 and so on 32 upon 31 into 100 is 103.23 34 upon 32 into 100 is 106.25 and 36 upon 34 into 100 is 105.88 so my dear students this is how we calculate the chain base index for the given data taking the each preceding year as the base value last one is the fixed base index but with the average of 2009 and 10 values so that is this is the 9 value this is the 10 value so 28.5 plus 29.5 upon 2 is 29 so now for each year we are going to divide our value with 29 for each year okay keep that in mind so let's start uh, 28 upon 29 into 100 is uh, 96.55 28.5 upon 29 into 100 is 98.28 29.5 upon 29 into 100 is 101.72 similarly 30 upon 29 into 100 is 103.45 and we will carry on for 31 upon 29 into 100 32 upon 29 into 100 34 upon 29 into 100 and 36 upon 29 into 100 so my dear students this is how we calculate the fixed base the chain base and the fixed base with average values index numbers okay so these values show the percentage changes see these last values these show the percentage changes in the value of each variable for every year according to various different methods okay let's move on to the third question following data is obtained about the annual average prices of wheat rice and sugar in the wholesale market find general index number for three items by fixed base index taking 2011 as base year and chain base index so this is a question where we have to follow with uh, fixed based and chain base and mark these words general index number now looking at the data given here we have the items and the year there there are three items wheat rice and sugar for the years 11 12 13 14 and 15 this is the data available now i am supposed to calculate the fixed base index for the whole data and the chain base index for the whole data and then find the general index number now what we usually do is for example if i only have wheat for five different years so i will calculate the index number for wheat for 11 that is will be 100 because it's a base year see the 11 is a base year fbi so it would be 100 and then 18.5 upon 18 into 100 and 18.9 upon uh, 18 into 119 upon 18 into 200 and so on then i will calculate it for rice then i will calculate it for sugar then i will make a total year wise and then get their averages um, let's start with the fixed base index first now this is your table which you will be requiring here year and items the items are wheat rice sugar the years are 2011 12 13 14 and 15 okay now what next we are going to do here is write down the values as are given according to the table okay why i am leaving these columns blank because in there i am going to write the index numbers for each year okay now starting with the first year the index number for wheat in the base year as we know it base year is always 100 in this second year in the year 2012 the base year is 18 so how we are going to calculate index number 18.5 divided by 18 into 100 it is 102.78 now in this kind of 
tables you don't show the calculations but you must know how to do do that next uh, is 18.9 so 18.9 divided by 18 into 100 is what I'm going to do that would be 105 similarly 19 upon 18 into 100 is 105.56 and 19.5 upon 18 into 100 is 108.33 so I got all the index number values for wheat similarly next i'm going to calculate all the index number values for rice now the first two value is obviously 100 then is 36 upon 30 into 100 that is 120 then i'm going to calculate the 38 upon 30 into 100 so that would be 126.67 and then the same answer i will get for the next value too then 39 upon 30 into 100 is 130 so i got all the index numbers for rice here next i'm going to calculate it for sugar so for the base year 2011 the index number will be 100 then for the next 31 upon 30 is 103.33 then by solving it i get uh, 32 upon 30 into 100 that is 106.67 here then 34 upon 30 into 100 is 113.33 and 36 upon 30 into 100 is 1 20. So I got all the relative index numbers, the necessary index number which I need. Next, I'm going to make a total of all the index numbers of these year uh, commodities. For the, year, for the year 2011, the total of these three index numbers will be 300. Similarly, for the year 2012, the total of index numbers will be 326.11. For the year 2013, it is 338.34, then 345.56 and 358.33. What I'm going to do next here is calculate the general index. Now, how do we record a general index number? It's quite simple actually. How many commodities do we have here? Three. And the total index number for the three commodities, 300. Just divide this 300 with three and you get your answer, 100. Similarly, divide 326.11 with three and you get 108.70 divide 338.34 with 3 and you get 112.78 345.56 with 3 and you get 115.19 and divide 358.33 with 3 and you get 119.44 so my dear students this is how you calculate a general index number for the given group of commodities for the given years so for the years 2011 the average is 100 in the year 2012 it is 108.70 and so on but this is just fixed base index number we also have to calculate chain base index number so that i have calculated in the next slide cbi we will uh, draw something similar starting with all the data here which we have to show similarly like the previous value and then the index number values now in the chain base index number the rule is that the first year the first year will always be 100 okay so i will take the same value first year will be 100 the second year divide by the first year so 18.5 divided by 18 will be 102.78 similar but next i'm going to divide 18.9 with 18.5 because this is a chain based index value so it will be 102.16 then 19 will be divided by 18.9 and it will be 100.53 19.5 will be divided with 19 and it will be 102.63 getting my point here the chain based index means each year the base year is the previous year uh, for the rise, the first index number is 100, the next is 36 upon 30 into 100, then 38 upon 36 into 100, 38 upon 38 into 100 is 100, and 39 upon 38 into 100 is 102.63. Next, I have 30, so first year is always 100, 31 upon 30 into 100 is 103.33, then um, 32 upon 31 into 100 is 103.23, and then 34 upon 31 into 100 is 106.25 and 36 upon 34 into 100 is 105.88. So these are our chain base index number for which we are going to make a total 
300, 326.11, 310.95, 306.78 and 311.14. Just a simple total of these three index numbers. Once again, we have three commodities. So all these total values will be divided by three. So we get 100, then 108.70, 103.65, 306.78 divided by 3 is 102.26 and 311.14 divided by 3 is 103.71. So my dear students, this is how we calculate a general index number. Okay, the last question of this exercise, the prices of five fuel related items in the year 2012 and 14 are as follows. Calculate the general index number four five fuel items by taking the year 2012 as base year and state the overall increase in the prices of fuel items okay let's start with the data here we have the items electricity gas matchbox kerosene wood the units electricity calculated in units gas in cylinders matchbox in boxes kerosene in liters and wood in kilograms we have the prices in the year 2012 and prices in the year 2014 we have to take 2012 as the base year and 2014 as the current year. So naturally current year divided by base year into 100 will be the method of calculating index numbers. So let's make another column named index number. Okay, how I'm going to calculate this price in the 2014 divided by price in the 2012 multiplied by 100. That's 3.5 divided by 3 into 100, 116.67. Similarly, 370 divided by 345 into 100, 1.5 upon 1 into 100, 20 upon 15 into 100, um, 15 upon 12 into 100. So my dear students, this is the list of index number for each item. But we are calculating a general index number and for that purpose, we have to make a total of all these values so the general index number formula is as you know make a total of all these index numbers divide by 5 so 632.25 upon 5 that is 126.45 so my dear students the general index number here is 126.45 but state the overall increase in the price of fuel items that means i have to show an increase uh, i have to write a statement showing what is the increase in the price of fuel items now we always assume that the base year is 100 and the current year index number is 126.45 so what's the difference here we can say that the, there is an overall 126.45 minus 100 that is 26.45 percent rise in the fuel prices for the year 2014 compared to the year 2012 so this is how you write a statement in the chapter of index number and statements are very important for your exams so don't forget to write a statement like this so because your index number is 126.45 just subtract 100 because that's the base value and you get 26.45 percent rise in the fuel prices so my dear students this is how you solve a question of general index number and this is how you write a statement thank you very much next time we will start with a new topic Welcome students to Vitansar's Anekant Academy. That's a better way to success for you. I am Vitan Mora and I teach accountancy, statistics and social science. You can contact me on my cell number 9194263101814. Please give a sub to my channel and also check out my other video playlist which you can see on the screen. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.